What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very wonderful day today, no matter what time it is, no matter what time of the week it is, no matter if you watch this video years from now, I still want to say I wish you a very good day in many days to come. And so with that being said, today I'm here to bring all of you the weekly Cheebit questions. And so, let us begin. Choose your trap, Astafol from Fate or Felix from ReZero. Felix. I'm more of a Felix fan than an Astaful fan, I gotta be honest. If you could be a monster girl from the world of Monster Musume, what would you be and why? I would want to be a slime, and the reason why I would want to be a slime girl is because I would be able to just change the shape of my body at will. I could be anything I really want. Pick two anime characters to switch places forever. For example, put Gin in Tokyo Ghoul and Kaneki in Gintama. How would Gin Toki fare in Tokyo Ghoul? That really makes you question. I mean, we, it's obvious that Ishida really loves, you know, Tokyo Ghoul. We know this because, I mean, Furuta was reading Gintama. So it, it really makes you wonder, like, what if there was, like, a weird crossover and Gintoki somehow went into Tokyo Ghoul? That, that would be weird. And then Kaneki going into Gintama, I couldn't imagine. I mean, Kaneki had all his powers and stuff and his character development. I couldn't imagine how he would act as well. That, that's very fascinating. But, um, okay, so two characters to swap. And they would be permanent, permanently swapped, okay? So it's forever. So I won't use the two you did for an example, Kaneki or Gen, because that feels like that would be cheating. I would like to see Subaru from ReZero swap with Kazuma from Konosuba. I would like those two to swap their respective series. Now, it's obvious that the series are very similar. Like, even the writers, the writers that write ReZero and write Konosuba, they're friends or whatever. And I think they've even done, like, a spin-off novel or something or chapter. Don't quote me on that one. But, I mean, they are obviously friends. I would love to actually see them to swap their main characters for, like, a little bit of a time or maybe for, like, one, like, spin-off volume or something. Yeah, with the where Subaru, he's in Konosuba with all of his development and what he's been through. And he's like, whoa, this is so different. Or or you have it to where, you know, Cosma with all his development or his comedy, he's brought into ReZero and realizes he can't act like that. I would really love to see how that would be done. And it's actually possible something like that could happen since, like I said, I know the writers are friends. That is something I would love to see. Besides Holo and Rim, who are respectively a wolf and an ogre, who are the other monster girls that you want to pork? Mia from uh, Monster Musume. Watch the worst anime ever and get a guarantee that your most favorite unfinished manga slash anime get the ending they deserve. Or get whatever anime merch you want, but for every item you get, one hair gets plucked from your body starting from the most sensitive areas. Yeah, small price to pay. Yeah. Small price to pay. I would definitely do it for some good anime and manga. I would do that. One hair at a time, even from the most sensitive area? Oh yes, I would. If you were forced to be trapped in the body of your waifu, any waifu, for an unspecified length of time, let's say you trade bodies, who would you pick, why, and what would you do while trapped? Sorry, but you did say ask a weird question, so... Don't worry about it. I know I asked, you know, for some weird questions. Okay, so if I could swap with anybody, obviously, I would swap with Holo. That just... Instantly. Now, if it was, like, unspecified how long it would be, I guess that's on the table. It hasn't been explained. But we've traded bodies. I would pick Holo. Why I'd pick Holo is because she is my favorite female character of all time. And what would you do while trapped? So you mentioned before that you wear glasses. Do you wear contacts while recording videos or just sit there blind as hell? Show us what Chibi looks like while wearing glasses. I do not have contacts, okay? I don't like contacts. And I don't really like wearing glasses in general. I I'm not a big fan of wearing glasses, but I have to wear them to drive. And I can't really see far distances. Like when I start going to my wall over there, it starts getting a little bit blurry. So I, I can't really see far distances. I can see up close. Most likely it's because gamer eyesight playing games on the life and also watching anime. It's probably ruined my eyesight, but I do not wear contacts. But sure, you want to see glasses on? I'll put them on for you. And I'll probably keep them on for the remainder of the video, just for you. I'll try to keep them on unless they get uncomfortable. But have you seen Team 4 Star Final Fantasy abridged? No, I have not. You have two picks from all of the manga anime power slash ability systems. You've seen such as Haki from One Piece, Ryatsu slash Zanpakuto from Bleach, Chakra from Naruto, Magecraft and Noble Phantasms from Fate, Nin from Hunter x Hunter, Quirks from Boku no Hero Academia, Stans from Jojo, etc. 
Your two picks will be combined into one system for the protagonist to use. What would be the most broken pair and what would be the most interesting pair? We want to talk about broken Nin. Nin can be very broken. Now, if we put Nin alongside of... I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards more Magecraft and Noble Phantasms because I, I feel like if you could boost Noble Phantasms with Nin and restrictions and stuff... It would be unbelievably broken. Now, the most interesting pair, I would say, would be JoJo Stands with Hockey from One Piece. If you were a ghoul, which Kagane type would you have? Also, what would your Kagane look like since it's based on imagination? I know Kagane's shape and form is based on imagination, sometimes events that happen to ghouls, so what do you think yours would appear like? Okay, so I would want a, ri a Rikaku, or Rinkaku, or however you pronounce it. I, I think it's Rinkaku or Rikaku. I I'm slipping my mind right now. But, um... What it would look like since it is based off imagination. Now, when I think about my life, I I'm a big gamer. I'm a big anime fan, and I feel like my imagination would be around what Psycho does. How she's able to change her cog and all that because of her imagination. She's able to make fists or, you know, weapons and stuff. I, I could definitely see my cog being able to do that from all the stuff I've watched over the years. But if there is one thing that I know for a fact would be like my Kakuja... It would probably be like something similar to, you know, King Arthas from, uh, the, Le you know, Lich King World of Warcraft or Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne. I feel like my cockroach would be in the form of, you know, the Lich King's armor. I, I don't know. Just something about that armor, something about the design has always stood out to me in terms of just character designs in general over the many, many years I've, you know, played games, watched anime and stuff. And I, I feel like, like I said, if I had to use my imagination, I would definitely love the armor set of Lich King. Now, in terms of my actual Kagane shape, it, it would probably vary just because of, since I'm an anime fan, I read a lot of manga, and I have an active imagination, and I just, I play a lot of games, I feel like it would just change forms quite a bit, just having to do with maybe fist, or, uh, I, I think the most, a or the average form it would take probably be hands or fist. That, that's what I feel like my my Kagane would be formed as, as a shape. It'd be just like hands or whatever. Name one character to give you a handy. Name one character to give you a foot job. And name one character that you would smash. Rule, you cannot choose Holo. Oh, well, that's tragic. Okay, so, um, one to give me a handy. Momo, foot jaw from, uh, Esdef, and Smash would be Rim. Would you rather eat llama crap dipped in expired horseradish or drink a full glass of water with with 24 living spiders in it. Must choose an option or you get the Kaneki treatment from Jason. I want to be honest here, I don't like spiders, but you didn't really tell me any details on what type of spiders they are. For all I know, these can be 24 baby spiders that are like harmless, like spiders that are not poisonous at all. Most likely, I would choose the full glass of water with 24 living spiders in it and just you know, drink the water and eat them. That, that seriously, because eating llama crap dipped in expired horseradish sounds really bad. So, no, I, I will eat the 24 living spiders. I'm sorry. I, that's what I would do. If you were paid $10,000 to be stuck in a room for an hour with an insane character, which one out of this lineup would you pick? Jason from Tokyo Ghoul, Shion from When They Cry or Higurashi, Lucy from Elfin uh, Lied, and Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. Ooh, they're all bad in their own ways. Jason, that man will... What he will do to you will be... Ooh, my... And I'm human, so I won't survive like Kaneki. So I'd probably... I would definitely die if I chose Jason. Uh, Shion, when they cry. I would probably... Shion seems to be... Out of all the characters I'm seeing here, she would see the, uh, seems the most friendly. Like, the one I would definitely want to be out of any of the others or be with. Just because Shion, she doesn't usually snap until the final part where she goes crazy. So, like, you know, I don't want to spoil anything but in the show. So, I'm leaning towards Shion. But Lucy, Lucy, oof, I would not want to deal with Lucy. Mm -mm, that'd be a gruesome way to go. Hisoka, since I'm human and I'm weak, I don't think you would really care much about me. He'd probably just think I'm irrelevant. So... Looking at both of these, I would probably say Shion and then Hisoka second, and then I would go to Lucy and then Jason last, because Jason just sounds horrible to be with. You know, I wish you would have added something like the Joker, too. I mean, I would have really loved it if you would have added, like, the Joker to this selection, because Joker's one of my favorite villains of all time, I, or Heath Ledger Joker, to clarification. I, I would have really have loved if you would have added him, because, you know, just to be in a room with, like, a Heath Ledger Joker and to discuss with him stuff, I would love to see that. I would love to be able to do that. So, I would probably have chose that just to see the conversation I could have, but 
I want to go with Xion. What are your favorite condoms to use? This boy thinks I actually use condoms, okay. How do I get my hair to look like yours? You get a wig. What two anime and manga characters do you want to see fight to the death, and what do you think would win, or who do you think would win the fight? Merrill with his max power after he survived Netro's like explosion and stuff. Whitebeard. Whitebeard from One Piece. I would love to see these two fight to the death because Whitebeard's power is insane, but Merrill's is too. I would wonder how Merrill would fare against someone that could use earthquakes. That's what I'm very curious about. And since Whitebeard's so bulky and tanky, I feel like it'd be really hard for Merrill to take him down. So looking at this, I think one of the craziest aspects or characters to have would be one of these two to fight each other uh, who would i think would win personally i don't know but i'm leaning more towards merrill since we never really got to see his upper limits to his power since he the strongest opponent he fought was netro but netro didn't even force merrill to go to the maximum of his power so i i'm gonna lean towards merrill but I, I feel like it'd be a really cool and close fight if Whitebeard was like in his prime or whatever against him. It would definitely be an insane fight. How many likes will it take for another hentai stream? Give me 1,500 likes and I will I will review a hentai series. If there was to be a second season of Recreators, what do you think the story of that season will be? So if there was a second season, I believe it would focus around Magane, obviously, since she's such a loose end to the series, and I feel like she would probably do something to where she would bring more creations into the world thanks to her power if she didn't lose it. She would probably manipulate reality, bring in more creations, and just combine many worlds or something, and even throw in Altair, Altair as well because of her abilities. I could definitely see something like that. That's... What I think the story would be about is Magne causing havoc. Ever thought about trying to straighten your hair? I have thought about it, but I really don't know how to straighten my hair, but also I heard straighteners actually can hurt your hair, so I've never really done it, so yeah. Big or small opi? Personally, I don't really care about size. It just, it really depends if it's like too small, for instance, just flat chest or too big where it looks like it's a tumor. See, if you were, if it's too big to where it looks like a tumor, I don't, I, I don't like that. And if it's flat as a board, I don't like that either. So, I, I, I like somewhere in between, honestly. In between both of those. Chibi, do you ever watch any small anime reviewers? Yes, I do, in fact. I watch quite a few anime reviewers. I check them out all the time, and I mean... I just like to see what everybody else thinks about certain episodes too, and I've already had my review up. I like to see if people are enjoying it as much as I am or disliking it as much as I am. I like to see how the community thinks. Hey, Ochibi, see the Punisher Netflix trailer yet? I have not seen the Punisher trailer yet, so it's already out. Next, Smite Stream. I'll try to get in the next Smite Stream sometime this week. I mean, my friend right now, he has really slow internet, and he's trying to download the Smite update right now, and so when that's done... I'll see if you'll want to stream then when he has it downloaded. So next might stream could be sometime this week or beginning of next week. We'll see where it goes. What are you most wanting and excited for in Ruby Volume 5? That's really coming close. I think we have less than a month until that comes out. Um, I want to see more, like, dark themes to the series. And I am really excited just to see my girl Blake once again. Blake and Yang. I mean, I really love Blake and Yang. And so I would love to see more of them. So... I'm pretty excited for it. How did you come up with the name Chibi Reviews? The name Chibi came from me being short. I'm only 5'3", and a long time ago, I used to have a complex about being short. I used to get really upset when people called me short or shrimp or whatever. I was really upset about that. I'm not even joking. A long time ago, I got really upset about that. I overcame it, obviously, and just me calling myself Chibi Reviews, I felt like it just fit me as a person since I'm small. I'm 5'3", and I mean, I was trying to think of a channel name. I was like, you know what? Let's just go with something that's me. I'm short. Chibi reviews. So, there you go. So, I just got this shirt I ordered. Should I take it to school? Forgot to take a picture, so I just screenshotted it. Most likely, if you go to a school, the teachers or whatever are going to tell you to take that off. I want to be honest. I, I know for a fact the schools I went to, they're like, you can't, no, you, you can't have nothing like that on. So, that you'll be forced to either turn the shirt inside out or being forced to take it off. One or the other. I know for a fact the school will not allow you to walk into school with that type of shirt on. Especially... With the opi like that, mm -mm, they won't allow that. Is Bone Drew best dad? Why, of course. He's the type of person that, you know, does nothing wrong. If Naruto and One Piece were seinen, do you think the pain in Marine Ford arc would be better than it is now? When you look at things, One Piece and Naruto, they have both kind of dabbed in a little bit of seinen themes here and there throughout the course of their series. 
But the thing is, is they're restricted by the demographic which is shown in because of thanks to, you know, the magazine Shonen Jump. They can't always do as many mature themes as they want. And so do I think that their arcs would be better, like certain arcs like the Pain Arc or the Marine Ford Arc, if it was a seinen? Oh yes, I really do think it would be better. I mean... It would allow the writers to do anything they want. If they want to make it dark and they want to put like more emphasis on certain scenes to make it really gritty, they could. And I feel like if it wasn't just shown, and it really could prove to be even better than it is. But it's thanks to the demographic that really restricts One Piece and Naruto, or Naruto when it was running. And I feel like if it was saying it, it would be so much better. But even then, though, One Piece and Naruto have shown that they can be saying it at times in terms of some of their themes. And Shonen Jump has proven over the many times recently, actually, over the course of the past couple of years, that they're willing to allow creators or writers or mangaka to actually express themselves a little bit more freely, for instance, with mature themes. I mean, look at Hunter Hunter, look at One Piece and all that, look at what's going on with the Promised Neverland. So when you see some of these series, it's obvious that Weekly Shonen Jump has kind of eased off on making it for just kids. They realize that sometimes the manga need to adapt and evolve. So most likely, I feel like it would have benefit a lot back in those times, but it seems like Shonen Jump are kind of becoming easier to deal with when it terms of making mature manga. How do you color your thumbnails? Photoshop. I use Photoshop quite a bit, or actually for every single thumbnail. I even have a couple of videos that on Tokyo Ghoul. You could type in Tokyo Ghoul Chibi Reviews Color Thumbnail or whatever. I did a couple of color thumbnail videos when I was just making thumbnails for Tokyo Ghoul. I, I made some in the past. I made like three or four. If you want to see how I kind of color my thumbnails, you can go check out that video. I, I have a couple in my Tokyo Ghoul playlist. You just gotta search through it and you'll find it. But that's how I do it. What's your favorite dance move? Thriller from Michael Jackson. If you could choose a sports anime to get a new season, what would it be? Personally, I would choose Baby Steps. Probably Baby Steps as well. I, I agree with you. Android 18 or 2B? Oh, this ain't even a question. 2B. Hi, Chibi. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good day as well. And did you read the manga Real Account and what do you think about it? I've never read Real Account. I've heard some things about it, but I've never read it. Is it a good manga? Do you think Vagabond will ever return and slash or finish? I do believe it will return. I do believe it will finish. However... I, it's just, it's a matter of when. However, wasn't there like an anime announcement for Vagabond a while back? So, I, I, maybe the writer's working on the anime adaptation. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't want it to turn out like how Berserk was. What do you think of this picture? First glance at the man's hairdo, I finally think someone has a even worse hairdo than I have. So, that's what I think. Same? <sighs> really? I despise you right now making me see this image. Every time I see this image, I get sad. Are, are you serious? Stop. Thoughts on the H3H3 controversy? Do you think he's a hypocrite or not? I'm not going to give my opinion on either side because I don't really watch H3H3 or Keemstar, so I'm not really even going to get into that discussion. However, I will say that at the end of the day, it's just pointless drama and it's petty and honestly just all makes all of us YouTubers look really bad in the grand scheme of things. What do you think of my coloring? Gotta say, that's some pretty good coloring, 10 out of 10. I really like the shading on Kaneki's uh, Kakuja mask. That looks really good. If a Chibit popped up at your home unannounced to hang out, would you? Depends on the circumstances. Depends on, you know, how it's done or what time of day it is, if I'm busy or whatever. It really depends on the circumstance. Will you catch back up to uh, Magi? It's ending in four chapters. I have heard the news that it's ending in four chapters. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. It's coming to an end. I probably will finish it because I did get pretty far into it and I do want to finish it. I, I just can't believe it's ending in four chapters. So anyways, with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for, you know, submitting your questions on, you know, Twitter and on Patreon. I do truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video, leaving a like or subscribing. I truly do appreciate it. And also, thank you so much for all of you that continue to support me on Patreon. It helps me out a lot. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.